Okay, we are back. It's Move It Monday. Ding, ding, ding. Yay. <laughs> July 31st, on the last day of the month. You guys get extra points for being here on the last day of the month. Um, and I'm excited you're here. We are here to hear from Sharon Davis, who's going to share with us about fragrance. Um, just for a little while, talk about her experience with selling fragrance and sharing fragrance and any ideas she might have. And then we're going to open it up for Q&A. So while she's presenting, I'm going to have you guys stay muted if you don't mind. And then um, as soon as she's finished, we will just open up everybody. I mean, you really are open it all the time, but uh, we'll open it up more for discussion and questions and sharing. Um, and possibly because it's our last move at Monday with the full time schedule. If we have time, maybe we can talk about, uh, during the Q&A, we can talk about ideas about how to wrap that fragrance into the opportunity for August. So, um, but that's not on you, Sharon. That's on all of us. Because <laughs> I didn't tell you to do that tonight. So, Tech so. obviously already does that for us. Yes, so. absolutely. Absolutely. All right, I am going to turn it over to you and make your screen a little bigger on my side. And then um, I am going to go to the item that you wanted. Hold on a second. I'm going to mute some. You don't have to pull that up yet. Okay. Just okay. let me know when you're ready for it. Oh, sorry. Hold on. I think I muted you, which I did not intend to do. <laughs> One second. There you are. Okay. And take it away, Miss Sharon. Okay. Well, hello everybody from the east coast to the west coast and all the way in between i'm uh it's kind of a little bittersweet for me talking about this because i actually started uh doing fragrance friday about a year ago a little over a year ago and and i started doing this because i had started like a collaborative relationship with Catherine. Uh, which is a clothing store. Now, um, consultants that I would train to do the same thing, I would tell them, you go to a store that you would shop in and you make friends and you, you try to set up a table to offer the products, demo them and, and share Jaffra and be really good to the people that work there. Um, so that it's a collaborative thing. I had a a coaching session with Jackie when I when I was coaching and she said to me you need to make it so it's really a beneficial relationship for both the store and for you so we over the year and a half we've done all kinds of wonderful things together when they have a sale like they, they give you a bag you can stuff everything you can stuff in the bag you get 50 percent so all of my orders, I would send that bag out with them so they would know this is Catherine's stuff bag weekend and so forth. And I'm going to be there. They do a, uh, they would do a fashion show. I would, you know, do a little bit of makeup for the ladies and so forth. And so it was just a, a lot of fun. Um, sponsored people, sponsored people that work there. But what the beer suite is, Catherine's has closed that store down as of a week ago. and. Um, yeah, it's very, very sad because <laughs> I had really developed that relationship. I had actually clients that called the um, corporate office and complained because that store has been there like over 20 years. Some of the staff that worked there had been there over 20 years. And this store is sort of like Cheers Bar. Everybody knows your name. When you walked in, these ladies knew customer service like nobody's business and just really enhanced me as, as a person to be able to provide customer service by watching them. So that's where Fragrance Friday started for me. And again, it's stealing a little bit from Jackie because she likes to you know, name the, the days of the week. So Fragrance Friday was formed. So I suggest if you're going to do that, that you do kind of make yourself an expert in the area of fragrance. Not a lot to learn. You have three notes, three notes. The first one is the introduction. I'm just meeting you. It's the first date, maybe a blind date even. <laughs> so we're going to just see how we get along. Usually that's going to consist of something like roses or 
yin yang violets um, bergamot peach berries citrus those kinds of things because they're the lighter kinds of notes and they're only going to be there a short time then the third the second note is the heart note now that note is going to stay a few hours so you know this is a good a pretty good day you get you know you're not just getting the appetizer here you get to eat the meal <laughs> so those are generally going to be the kinds of fragrances that pull together your base notes because basically the base notes are kind of um, yeah, not too wonderful by themselves. So the the heart notes are it's there to just buffer the base notes, and it's not a lot to learn. Just think of it as a, you know a relationship. We're just meeting. Now we're going to have a develop a friendship, and then the the, the base notes are your long term relationships. Now a base note can last and linger sometimes days i my daughter has a pacific fragrance that she equates with me and even though she's 30 something to be 30 35 in a couple of weeks has to have my fragrance sprayed on a on a on a um scarf and mailed to her every three months because she misses mom that's the long-term relationship of the base notes. So the base notes generally are something like amber, um, sandalwood, vanilla, musk, patchouli. They're very deep, harsh even types of oils and it makes up 20% of the fragrance. So it's not very wonderful on their own. So again, you want that buffer, and it is something that's going to last. Now, those are the those are the notes, though. The base note is where we generally live. If we like something that's based with sandalwood, we can pretty much consistently know that she's going to like another fragrance with sandalwood. Um, again, most of them are going to be the woodsy kinds of things anyway. And you can look at what she's used in the past and find out what those base notes are and be able to recommend with Jaffra what fragrance would probably meet her fancy. Now, one of the awesome things that I'm really excited about is that in the industry, it's become a new thing to use notes that are unusual, that are not basically all floral in nature so because again as i said the top notes are usually floral in nature and those are usually the ones that people are going to be allergic to so when you see somebody that says oh no get away from me that's fragrance and i basically am one of those people so it's really odd that i've you know really blossomed in, in fragrance but the industry has started using notes that are not just floral. Now think about the ones that have just come out for us. Um, Sweetie Pop, I think it had grapefruit, right? Um, uh, Petit Noir, oh my goodness, I love, I love, I love, I love it. Um, macaroon, rose macaroon, rose macaroon, not a flower rose, but the scent of the macaroons. Strawberries, the Manar strawberries, I mean, Industry-wide, they've started looking at opening up more than just floral and your traditional scents. So you can you can say to a woman who's generally going to say, "Oh no, I'm allergic. I'm allergic." Well, trust me on this. This is not like this. And then you can take that and put them, put the fragrance in. Where did I split it? Where did I split it? Oh goodness. Okay. You can set them in, that's just crazy, any kind of plastic bag. I have them. I have several that I put in, like the little bags that you get at Michael's for jewelry. And so I'll slip the our little strips in there. I'll usually take like a group of them. Like right now we've got, you know, we've got the new exclusive and the old exclusive. So I'm going to put those 
together, put them in a little bag, and anybody I run into at any checker, any anybody, male, female, I'm going to give them this. Oh, you don't you don't use men's fragrance. Oh, but I'm sure you have a brother, you have a a nephew or somebody. And hey, let me give you a call and ask you which one of these two he likes because. This one just come out and I need, I need to know which one is really going to, you know, be our big seller for big attention grader. Or you can put them in a nice little bag when you send out your orders. It's a little graffiti or what, um, whatever it's called. I put, where are those? Can't find anything in here now. <laughs> I have some that I put like flower petals in there. I will spray the flower petals. You get like the satin ones. You can get them at the dollar store. You can spray the fragrance on there, put them in the bag. I really suggest that you do put them in a bag because people are allergic and in some sense can make people, you know, it can, can elicit migraines from anywhere, anywhere from a smile, slight headache to a seizure to some people. So you want to, put them in a bag so that it's not going to overwhelm people. But anytime you send out an order, anytime you're out and about, you know, have the strips, have the ability to just share the fragrances with people. Um, I know a lot of women say that, you know, that's the last thing they think about. We're a skincare company. We, we don't sell fragrance. We're, 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 we're makeup people. We're not a fragrance, but fragrance is part of the whole total package of who we are and what we represent. And for most people, fragrances is a snapshot, a snapshot of a time, a place, a person, a situation in our life. And those snapshots, they bring back very strong memories for people. So when you don't offer them the ability to know about what fragrances can do for them, know what fragrances we offer and upsell for yourself, then you're missing out on a whole big chunk of service that you could be providing to people. So that is what I do with fragrances. And we have an awesome, an awesome fragrance guide that tells you everything I just told you and more, but just mainly, you just want to know and understand the concept of what the three notes are and what they represent and how they interact. The long-term relationship is the base, the short date is the heart and the introduction. I just met you, don't know if I'm going to like you or not, is the introduction. And those are very simple and easy to remember. So um, I put the, the categories together, like I will put in a bag all of these different um, double natures. I'll put in a little bag a combination of fragrances that would appeal to a younger woman, a combination of fragrances that might appeal to an older woman. And you can you know, look at over the years, what fragrances have been popular? I mean, like my mother used to use Emerald. So that gives me kind of a little idea of Emerald and Chanel number no. five. So you go and you know what those bases are. See, I'm see Bobby smiling like, yeah, I know, I remember that. Yeah, that's a snapshot of a fragrance from you know, something you remember. So you find out what those bases are for those fragrances and you can kind of get an idea based on even her age, um, her, her activities and everything of what might appeal to her. Well, just that simple. Wonderful. Does anybody have any questions for Sharon? Now would be the time to ask them. <laughs> yes, I have a question. Wait a minute. Let me be um, you, uh, Sharon, you said that you sell on the internet a lot. Do you sell your fragrances that way also? Um, sometimes what happens is I will talk about the fragrance that came out. Like I 
I will come out and say, oh, Sweetie Pop just came out. It's got these notes. It smells like this. It appeals to this age group. Oh, my granddaughters just love it. Man, I had to hide them from them. Um, you know, and then I'll get someone, you know, pop me a private message and say, oh, so that would work for a 16-year-old? Oh, yeah, I've got a party this weekend. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, the, I do. Then when I, put, when I mail out any orders to someone that I, the orders that, that don't come directly from Jaffa that I actually mail, I'm going to always have some fragrances in there, some fragrance strips. And, and I'm going to ask, you know, oh, okay, you, you have a brother, you have grandchildren, whatever. And I'm going to just provide that. Um, the baby fragrances. Oh my gosh. Um, big secret. I sell a lot of the baby fragrances to men. They, they seem to think that we women like them smelling like babies. <laughs> I'm not going to tell them we don't, <laughs> but yeah, I have several guys who religiously order the tender moments and, um, the uh anytime the the one the, the b, with the b <laughs> the green one and the and the lavender they love it yeah that was very interesting i would not even have i wouldn't have thought of it no <laughs> definitely not yeah yeah also has a question for sharon anybody you can just unmute yourself because most of you guys are still muted so you'd have to unmute or type in the chat box if you can't chat wait for it <laughs> so, so go ahead. i have a question sandra has a question i finally got here oh hi sandra hi what a great presentation thank you oh, thank um you. i saw you with some some bags in those bags that you put together were those um were those vials or just the the strips well listen how she is now. Were they vials of perfumes? You said you gave a few of them um, to people based on their age and stuff. Were they the vials yes. or just the strips? Okay, so it depends. You know, it really depends on your size of your order, son. Honestly, if you have a big order, you're going to get a mini. You're going to get a mini. You're going to get a couple strips that you know go for different people in your household. Um, if I'm just handing them out, I do sometimes just put like a couple strips in my card. I don't give my card out a lot. That's kind of controversial, I know, but I don't want other people to have the control over when I talk to them next. And by giving out your card, you give them that power. I want, I'm kind of like a little, as my daughter says, a control freak, okay? I admit it. I am too, so don't worry. <laughs> um, I also will take my cards and, and staple them on there. So yeah. you know, I'll have a couple of them okay. on there. And I'll put like a whole group of, of ones on there. So you'll get a card that has maybe four of them on there. And the reason is because I want to call you and I want you to, t I need your help. I need your help. Tell me which one. Yeah best for this age group. Oh, wow, you're 21? Just what I need. I need somebody 21 to tell me, because, you know, I've been 21 so long ago. For me, I don't know. So, yeah, I, I do all kinds of little different versions of whatever is going to work. Need. Okay. Hello. Bubble Nature Group. Oops. You're on now. Okay, thank you. Out of the Double Nature Series, which are the most popular and for what age group? Okay, um, the rock. The rock is, is, I sell a lot of the rock. To what age group? That would be mostly in your like 20, 18, 20, 25 year olds. Okay. Yeah. Glam, um, oddly enough, women in their 30s, 40s seem yes. to like that one. Yeah. yeah. But it's, but I'm, um, it you can't really that's actually not a good representation because i've had i've had the crazy and the cool go to a 50 year old i mean that that line is, just can't be boxed in for some reason no it's versatile yeah 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 
I guess that's the purpose of it being called durable nature. <laughs> I think it's because it's so lightweight and people who don't want a very strong um, fragrance find that it, it smells a little bit lighter or less intense than some of the other fragrances, maybe. I don't know. That seems to kind of be the reaction I get. And unfortunately or fortunately, I have to say fortunately because I, I do react to fragrances. Um, you know, a lot of people can't wear fragrances to work anymore or whatever, or they have to go with something that's lighter or whatever. I am extremely allergic to roses. Like I had a number of clients who were so happy to see the rose oil, but when I order the rose stuff, I have to keep it in the garage because I, I cannot have it in my house, even unopened. I can't have it in my house. So that's how sensitive I am to certain scents. So, you know, I, I really try to be cognizant of that to other people um so but i'm still pushing fragrances <laughs> very cool gail did you have a question or were you just coming on just coming on <laughs> okay we're doing the head shake and uh and no i just i love your your approach and the whole fragrances i'm looking for which category i need your help i love that idea yes which category i mean in terms of the relationships the relationship sorry yeah what yeah 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 i really like oh, yeah, and I, t I use your idea i use gail's idea of taking a flower and just you know taking some fragrance and you know spraying it on there handed it out to somebody as they're leaving and that's you know it gives them the opportunity to experience the different changes of the notes the only problem with that is that when they mix with your body the way the notes are are going to be totally different than it would be on this flower i mean Correct. i cannot wear atteris it smells like cigarettes on me it <laughs> smells like cigarettes but atteris pure gold Oh my goodness, that is it. That was all I wore until party, Patty and walking out. Mm. So that's the only problem with it not being on the body, on the card or everything else that you can. But it, the flower is the reminder that I met you and the whole relationship starting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like how you described the top heart and base notes. I think yeah. that was brilliant because that's a really good way of, um, of remembering it, I think, for people who don't deal with fragrance very often. Yeah. Uh, and for and to explain it to someone who's new to fragrance or who's never really thought about why they like something. <laughs> um, I think that's really a really nice way of explaining it. Simple. Go out there and sell fragrance, upsell, upsell, upsell. Definitely. And wear it. You know, that's the thing. You have to wear it. You know, if, I mean, I used to be, Angel. That was it. I have to. I have a bottle of Angel that's probably 15 years old. I love it, but I only wear it maybe one Sunday out of the month because I don't get paid from from Michael. He doesn't pay me. Okay. <laughs> I love it. He doesn't pay me. <laughs> I love it. Diane, you're unmuted. Was that intentional, or are you just hanging out? No, I'm, I'm just hanging out. I don't know what I did. You know me. The finger. We do not mind at all. I just wanted to make sure you didn't have a question you were waiting to ask. No. So for those of you who've been around and or for new people, how would you use fragrance in relationship to the opportunity for August? Who, who has some ideas? Let's just wrap it all together in one big package tonight. Well, the birthday package for sure has, mm -hmm. you know, it might be kind of um, fun to do a party in a bag. We've talked about it, you know, and have the, the picture of all the things that you can get in the birthday package and put some tissue in it and just carry it around and go, oh my God, you can get all of this. Party hats, balloons. So for those of you who were not on earlier and don't know what Gail's talking about, Sorry. <laughs> um, this is the new, it's, uh, it's called the birthday pack for August only. 
this is um, unlimited. You can get as many of these as you want. They are commissionable. It's 1073 retail value. The special retail price is 530 So it would count for all your new consultants and your consultants who are trying to do the fast start. Uh, as their as their month part of their goals and it only cost two hundred and sixty five dollars and it has everything from the royal jelly set including the sonic cleansing tool which is seventy five dollars retail just by itself um, not to mention all your your uh, has all nine skincare or royal jelly products sorry has a bunch of color the new color it has a little bag it has the hand care and it has some of the top fragrances that we are selling which is just wonderful because. Sometimes, you know, if you put a pack together and it's, it's some of the old ones that have been around a while, it's just not as exciting to share them. And so now we have the, all, a lot of the new ones right here to, to share and to sell. So mm -hmm. super, super. And a 3.3 Royal Jolly. Yes. And a pretty decanter. Now, if I remember hearing you correctly, it's open to everybody. Oh, that sounds Ah. Oh. <gasps> Not just new consultants. It says, uh, where is it? Yeah, it says unlimited. So, and it doesn't say anything about new consultants. It just says, oh, we don't say to us. I know, oh. that's what I'm saying. Oh. Like, <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> that's why I was like, what? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's free shipping if yeah. you get it between the first and the 20th. Exactly. Mm. Even, oh my gosh. And you get this cute little pin, and you get the little bag, which is the skincare bag for August. So you have like everything you would need to go out and rock your sales for the month of August in a big way for your birthday parties that you're going to be having in the first two weeks. <laughs> so five in the first week, five tomorrow. in the second week. <laughs> yeah. So you should be having, like Linda was talking about a little while ago. Um, in our first section that we recorded separately. Um, but she was, you know, we were talking about sponsoring and our goals for sponsoring this month and all the tools that are available to us. And um, she's, her plan is to pick her five or six top prospects that she would really love to work with and bring them over to her house for a little birthday party celebration and show them all the stuff and spoil them with the spa experience and wow them with all the opportunity that there is in August. And, um, and go for it. <laughs> so it's exciting. It's really, it's this business. I mean, Jaffer is giving us more and more and more, it feels like every month. And as we all know, we have the new system is launching this fall. We have new programs coming this fall and it's super exciting. Um, we got a little sneak peek in Palm Springs and it was just mind blowing. Mm -hmm. So we are super excited. <laughs> we want all of you to be excited too. And, um, I love the tips that Sharon gave us tonight. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. So anybody Thanks else have Sharon. any thoughts for the opportunity mixed with fragrance? Sharon, you're welcome to jump into that too. Sharon, pronounce this. Paris et moi. Petty and moi. Petty okay. or petty. Okay. Okay. Petty and moi. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's, it's If you just read it, it's like, Paris at Moy? What? <laughs> but, you know, if, if a client calls me, I'm still going to sell it. To <laughs> really strong on the Paris one. Uh, say that again, Helen. Uh Oh, hi. hi. Sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Sharon. I love your presentation. It was great. Right? Yeah. Um, okay, because Jaffer has been on this, okay, we need to sell fragrances, and I have not been selling fragrances. So I decided, okay, I need to do something different, because if you don't show it, guess what? You're never going to sell it. And so um, I do a lot of business from my house. So now I have started that every time somebody comes to pick up their order, I spray my living room with a fragrance. I thought you were going to spray them. <laughs> no, 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 no. I sprayed the living room. And, and I try to do it like about five minutes before they come so it's not real strong. Oh, I like so it. So people walk in and they go, oh, it smells so good. What are you? What is this? And I go, you know what? I've never talked to you about fragrance before, but I'd like to share it with you today because fragrance is such a strong selling point in Jaffa. And do you like what you smell today? And so then we would just talk about it. And then I pretty much have bought all of the little fragrant tester things that we were able to buy. 
So I just let them experiment with them. And believe it or not, I have sold three fragrances. <laughs> now that may not sound very much, but guess what? It's three more than I've sold before. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a really good idea. That's so why did he make this suggestion though? Because as I said, the, the, the difference in how long they last, if you're spraying it just a few minutes before they come, if you sprayed it like an hour before they come, they would get a whole different sensation. So that you is true. both put, put a little on a pillow an hour before and a little on a pillow before they get there and you'll have a whole different experience. Thank you, Sharon. That's great. <laughs> didn't think about that. Yeah, I didn't. You know, one of the, the fragrances I love for the summer is that series, The Blends. Mm -hmm. I love that. And the fact that you can layer them. Do you typically fun. mix them together? Not always. It depends. It depends. I, now, I'm sure, Sharon, you can't wear the rose petal and the uh, even <laughs> But the others, oh, I just, I can't get enough of it. I love them. Very nice, yeah. very fresh. Yes. And the good thing about that is it's, again, it's not that traditional yes. floral scent. So people who are allergic can use the, the, the uh, blackberry and the, and the pomegranate. Uh, pomegranate, yeah. Pomegranate. I mean, that is just <clears throat> awesome to be able to, to share that with people who ordinarily. I'll just wear my antioxidants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I tried that one over there, but I like it. That's awesome. Love it. Love it. Yes, for sure. So we have awesome fragrance tips from Sharon tonight. Very cool. We have an amazing birthday pack in August. We have, yeah. some of us have the goals of 10 sponsors in August, and now we've put ourselves on the line. We're totally in trouble because people are going to remember oh, this. Yeah. Oh, and it's recorded. Oh. <laughs> and number three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so the rest of us have one, two, three, five, who, whatever your number is, go for it. Just go out and be <laughs> joyful about Jaffra because really that's what's attractive. When we're having fun and we are loving what we do and we love what we're selling and we truly just are having a just joyful about our life and what we're doing, that's attractive to people and that's what people want. They want to feel that way. They want to have a girlfriend's experience. They want to have, they want to make money. They want to have a good product that's going to smell good and feel good and do what it says it's going to do. And that's what we have to offer. So be proud, as Jackie would say, be proud out loud <laughs> and go out there and share the opportunity, share the excitement for our 61st anniversary, 61st, I can't even talk, anniversary this in August and rock and roll this last few hours of July. You can do it. Whatever your goal is, go get it. Like I said, go get it <laughs> in July. And then we will celebrate um, next week. Jan Iverson is going to be talking about skincare. Whoop, whoop. So she's going to be our skincare queen next week. And um, tomorrow kicks off the for um, future and previous district directors, the eight o'clock is for current and previous and 9.30 is for future for the managers who are future district directors. And then next Monday night, we start our new schedule for Move It Monday, which is of course five o'clock with Scott or us, depending on if he's on or not. Next week he will be. Um, and then 5.30 Move It Monday with skincare with Jan Iverson and at six, um, six o'clock we will start the I just, Freedom Makers, <laughs> I don't do a complete blank there. Um, Freedom Makers, which is Move It Up Monday for anyone who wants to promote to manager between now and October 1st and whose goal is to promote um, or even into the fall, but really our focus is October 1st right now. And all leaders are welcome on that call as well. But we're gonna be really focused on doing what it takes to move up to manager by October 1st. So um, join us and spread the word and tell all your people and your friends and your girlfriends in Jaffra and any newbies. If, they, if there's a new person that comes in and really gets the vision for what they can do, what they can be with this company and they want to join us, bring it on. We'd love to have them. So our focus is a lot, 61 actually, managers. 
<laughs> so imagine that. That's what we're going for. Big surprise there. <laughs> and that's just in the Amber region. We want to grow by 61 liters. So let's do this. You ready? Go. <laughs> and I will see you guys next week. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you. Thanks. Love you.